What's up guys? My name is George and I'm sorry I was unable to link up with the other guys in order to do any of the Easter eggs. So this is going to be a different kind of video. It's going to be off a different series and today I'm going to be playing the new updates for Onslaught. If you guys don't know what Onslaught is, it is essentially zombies on multiplayer maps. And I honestly really enjoyed this game mode and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Today, I want to fill in with something I really want to try, and that is, I heard a whole bunch of good things about the new updates that they brought to Onslaught, so I am going to hop on my favorite map, which is Nuketown, and I am going to see what it's like, because I remember playing this for the first time, it was very bare bones, you weren't able to pack a bunch of gun, you weren't able to level up your gun at all, it was just very hard to do. And plus, you were only able to get tier 1 armor. So, I heard that they added new tiers to the armor. I heard they added new pickups where you can actually upgrade your gun. You can actually pack a bunch of your gun. Uh, and I heard it was a lot more fun. So, let's try this out. See, I like how Call of Duty is really trying to go a separate direction from just regular zombies. And I, I really like this because it, it, it makes it... Uh, it makes it so that they don't have to focus so much on producing a map. They can actually try their hardest to make Locking something down, unique like game. this. Weapons free. Killing the undead powers the orb. Why the orb exists is unclear, but it helps us fight through the breach zones. So this is kind of like just a normal game of zombies right now. Oh, you actually see your progression in the left side of uh, the heads up display. Alrighty. 100%. Oh, wow. That was right. Pick this up. Stay with the orb. Oh, crap. The perimeter protects you from the dimensional phase that's flooded the breach. Oh, crap. So, it, it, it just shifts you all over the place, huh? As I can tell, kind of normal round uh, progression. And I'm guessing each phase was called a surge. Tear nearby. Orb will move to intercept. Let's see what's inside. Oh, we got a move. Right. I think I'm gonna need this. Oh, another one? Alright. And I got Jimmy. The on. orb is pulling these elites to okay. dimensional tears. Let's just AK7 for you. Alright. Um Can I apply a bl blueprint to it? Yes I can. Okay. I'm liking this. So, I like the new update with this too, where you can apply blueprints. I did not know that I can apply this to any gun I pick up off the floor, which is actually insane. So, I'm guessing now that every elite surge is basically a round progression on difficulty. So, if you guys haven't seen my previous video, uh, please go check that out. It's me trying to survive as long as I can in the moon spawn room uh, and it is probably one of the more difficult challenges Contact I've down. ever done I tried getting 100 kills in there and uh, it was extremely difficult because all you have is jug and a pack punch Make it quick, oh make crap alrighty so yeah, it was very difficult because I was in this very limited area with infinite spawning zombies. It built something straight out of a, uh, straight out of a mod or like a, uh, almost kind of like a custom map in, on like PC. Because it is something very, very unique to play with. And, uh, it's definitely not like your normal zombies. Oh, I just noticed that I don't have points. <laughs> like, I don't have points at all. What's spawning now? I'm gonna you know One left to worry about. Where do I get a uh, cruise missile? Get my whole armor. Uh, nothing too fun. I did get stamina up though. I'm I wish this was like a craft table at least, man. I don't get anything, really. 
Like nothing to work with? I can't fuck with this so far, because like, you know, it's not too challenging. But like, once it starts getting challenging, I better see more of an increase in helpful drops. The first thing right now, well, I don't know if I, if I can survive like this. I haven't seen anything besides it. Level 1 armor. Definitely no pack a punch. What is this? Bronze? Alright, so it packs up no weapon. Would have known this before if you picked up the first one you saw, you idiot. I'm just not the biggest fan of Tombstone. I know I've said this a billion times, but Tombstone sucks. It really sucks. Like, if you go out of your way and buy Tombstone, what are you doing with your life, man? I would like to make my formal apology to Tombstone in this video right now. It is here where I begin to learn that it is very useful in Onslaught. Because after you lose your first self-revive, there's only two other ways of getting yourself back up. Number one, you can kill a normal zombie while you're down with Quick Revive. But you cannot kill a dog. You cannot kill a special zombie. You have to kill a normal zombie. So it's very hard. And number two is Tombstone. And I think Tombstone is actually super useful in small maps like this. And I really like it. I like to apologize to Tombstone now. Still think it's the worst perk of the seven. But it is so much more useful in Onslaught than it is in any of the zombies map. Do it for like five times just to be safe. Ooh, what's this? Alright, pack a punch in that. Ooh. Look at that. I wonder how I upgrade this though. Easy tool. This is fun. I'm not gonna this is very fun. Uh, I'm actually really enjoying myself right now. I wonder if we can get alternate ammo types in here too. Spoiler alert, you cannot. I tried getting up to around 75 on a different map and I was just unable to get anything on the floor resembling anything close to an alternate ammo type. All you can get is pack a punch and elemental pop is your only way of getting the alternate ammo types. I do always have my ether shroud just in case too. Good hunting. Um let's go to this one. Time to clock in. I gotta say, of um of all the secondary hobby modes. When it comes to the Altercade, this and Nightmares, this one has to take the cake, I think. I mean, this is just so much fun, man. Ooh. Look at that. Load this up. Alrighty. I'm liking this a lot so far. Oh, we got a second one, too. Yes, please. Can I just say something? New bucket kit that we have where you can actually get an ammo mod right from the side of the game. I just hate it. To be able to start off with that ammo type is insane. And then you have dead wire. You start off with dead wire on one of them, I know for a fact. I'm not sure about the other ones yet. But uh, I can definitely see them coming in soon. And at that point, it's just pay to win. I mean, you're starting off with those weapons. If they ever put on something like a Howler, it's game over, man. I'm gonna be using that every single zombies game. Speaking of ammo types, actually, I did notice that they nerfed a whole bunch of them. And I gotta say right now, Dead Wire is no longer number one. I think officially now that uh, Brain Rot is the best one. I mean, imagine getting like a friendly Mimic or Mangler on your side. It's really, really good to use. <laughs> That's all I really have to say. Can I get one the weapon? That'd be pretty cool. Alright, this is gonna take a while. Uh, there's a lot of me talking gibberish, so I'm just gonna skip to the part where I die. Uh, any equipment, really? No. No, 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 no. Don't break it. No, no, no. I have no jug.
This is the end. There's no zombies. There's really no zombies. I can't get a kill with this. Now, I gotta say, my review about this game mode, it is a 9 out of 10. It is definitely something you need to play now. Before, it was like a 2. Now, it's like a 9. It is so much fun. I've been playing this more than I've been playing normal zombies. Uh, there are two critiques I do want to include. Number one, you need alternate ammo types. And number two, you need a crafting table. If they had some sort of round where it dropped down a pack-a-punch machine and a crafting table, and it was kind of like a break round every, like, five elite surges, and you're able to just get your alternate ammo type or pack-a-punch, and you're able to get to the crafting table and get a self-revive, that would be perfect. But where it stands right now, I wish there was something other than Tombstone to get me back up in the later rounds. I wish I was able to, you know, craft more equipment that I would need because I didn't really see myself using much equipment. And that's really it. Uh, but it's still a 9 out of 10. That's going to do it for me. Please leave a like. Please subscribe. Please follow my Twitter for more notifications. And I will see you guys in the next one.